Rosa. These are the compositions uh, of the white lesion uh, uh, of the oral mucosa. First composition one is, uh, is hyperkeratosis in which there is increase in the keratin layer. So it is hyperkeratotic uh, patch of the, and second one is acanthosis. In this there is decrease in the spinous layer. So it, uh, this patch is of acanthosis. Third is uh, fluid accumulation between the intracellular and the extracellular compartment and composition four showing the necrosis of the epithelium and composition 5 it is showing the pseudomembranous or uh, growth of the fungi on the oral mucosa like in case of oral candidiasis third one is there is decrease in the vascularity of the uh, cells so it is showing red lesion coming to the classification of the white lesions of the oral mucosa first it is classified into infectious diseases these are the lesions that are caused by due to the infections like oral candidiasis caused by the candida albicans and oral hairy leukoplakia second is pre malignant lesions which have the potential to convert into the malignancy later on so they are, these are termed as pre malignant lesions first is oral leukoplakia and uh, erythroplakia and uh, second one is oral submucous fibrosis. Next is immunopathologic diseases. These are the diseases which is caused due to the uh, lower immunity of an individual that is oral lichen planus, drug induced lichenoid reactions, lichenoid reactions of graft versus host disease, lupus erythematosus. Next is uh, diseases caused due to the allergic reactions. First is lichenoid contact reactions, reactions to dendrophrys and chlorhexidine solution. Second is toxic reactions, reactions to smokeless tobacco, smoker's palate and th uh, next is reactions to uh, mechanical trauma that is Mossy Cashew. If it is present on the buccal mucosa then it is no, uh, called as Mossy Cashew Buccarum. Next last one is other red and white lesions which includes benign mi uh, migratory glossitis also known as geographic tongue and leukoedema, white sponge nevus and hairy tongue. So these, uh, this is another classification of the white lesions which is classified under uh, the finding that ca uh, the, those lesions that can not be scraped off with a tongue blade, these are mostly keratotic due to the hyper, uh, it occurs due to the hyperkeratosis and second is these are the lesions which cannot be scraped off with uh, tongue blade but there is a presence of sloughing or pseudomembranous necrotic type example is candidiasis and last one is vesiculobullous lesions which have whitish or greyish white appearance during a stage of their presentation so they can be considered white lesions particularly during examination process first keratotic white entities in some regions normal uh, keratinization epithelial thickening or both may be so marked that it appears pathologic leukoedema and linear alba are such examples these leukoedema and linear alba are the normal variant of the oral mucosa but it appears as a um, uh, whitish whitish lesion on the oral cavity that's why these are included in the white lesions of the oral uh, mucosa and these um, undo, these occurs in the oral cavity due to the hyperkeratosis and uh, the amount of keratin produced by any given stimuli varies from individual to individual so leukoedema and linear alba is generally uh, not present in every individual it um, it varies from individual to individual and due to the presence of amount of keratin this variation is probably under genetic control and may be influenced by patient systemic condition at that time this is leukoedema this white patch uh, leukoedema gives appearance of early leukoplakia. So the distinguishing feature of leukoedema from the leukoplakia is that when we stretch, when we stretch the buccal mucosa, it disappears. But if it is leukoplakia, it will not disappear when we stretch the mucosa. This is abnormality of the buccal mucosa, which clinically resembles early leukoplakia. It is most common in age group of 15 to 35 years. Male predilection is 2 is to 1. Buccal mucosa retains in normal softness and flexibility but exhibit grayish white, slightly folded opalescent appearance that is described as epithelium covered with diffuse edematous fell or velvet like veil. Typical feature is it cannot be removed with tongue blade but becomes less prominent or disappears altogether when tissue is stretched. Differential diagnosis is leukoplakia, but leukoplakia and leukoedema can be distinguished from each other because leukoplakia cannot be scraped off with a tongue blade, but and leukoedema is also cannot be scraped off with a tongue blade, but 
इट डिसअपियर्स वेन मिकोजा इज स्ट्रेस्ड बट लुकोप्लेकेट डज नॉट डिसअपियर चीक बाइटिक लीजन इफ चीक बाइटिक बाइटिंग लीजन इज प्रेजेंट सो इट कैन बी डिस्टिंग्विश फ्रॉम द लुको प्ले फ्रॉम लुको एडिमा विद बाई टेकिंग द हिस्ट्री फ्रॉम द पेशेंट लाइक एंड प्लानस लाइक एंड प्लानस जनरली गिवस स्ट्रेया लाइक अपेयरेंस विच इज नॉट सीन इन द लुको एडिमा वाइट स्पंज नीवस इट इज जनरली कंजनाइटल management it is a normal variant so management is not required its recognition is important and no treatment is required doesn't go any uh, malignant change linea alba linea alba this is a whitish line present on the buccal mucosa or generally present uh, on the uh, buccal mucosa where the occlusion meets this uh, it is a streak on buccal mucosa at the le level of occlusal plane extending horizontally from commissure to posterior teeth as it occurs at occlusal plane and conforms to space between teeth it is thought to result from slight occlusal trauma to buccal mucosa more prominent in people with little overjet of free molars and molars management requires only recognition because it is a normal variation and it uh, it also doesn't undergo any malignancy next is leukoplakia this is whitish homogeneous patch which is extending from commissure area till the retromolar area this is leukoplakia according to who leukoplakia is classified as white patch or plaque that cannot be characterized clinically or pathologically as any other disease classification the clinical subtypes of the leukoplakia is homogeneous form homogeneous means it is totally whitish in appearance speckled means Uh, along with the whitish appearance there is a uh, specks of red, reddish color this is speckled leukoplakia varicose leukoplakia the, there is varicose form is uh, seen in leukoplakia white and red patches according to histology it can be dysplastic and non dysplastic according to benosizi leukoplakia simplex leukoplakia erosiva leukoplakia varicosa according to risk of future development of cancer leukoplakia is classified into high risk sites intermediate risk sites and lower risk sites high risk sites are floor of the mouth lateral or ventral surface of the tongue and soft palate intermediate risk sites are all other sites of oral mucosa um, and low risk site is dorsum of tongue and hard palate etiology behind the leukoplakia uh, is tobacco products alcohol hot spicy cold acidic food and beverages alcoholic mouth rinse occlusal trauma sharp edges of prosthesis or teeth actinic radiation syphilis presence of candida albicans pathogenesis pathogenesis behind the leukoplakia is there is activation of the oncogenes and there is deletion of the proto oncogenes or tumor suppressor genes which leads to the uh, and genes responsible for dna repair will uh, lead to uh, contribute to de uh, defective functioning of genome that governs the cell division so following a series of mutation a malignant transformation may occur Uh, whenever there is mutation of the uh, um, whenever there is mutation of the tumor suppressor gene and there is activation of the onco gene the uh, gene responsible for dna repair will not uh, will not function uh, well so it will uh, convert the process into carcinogenesis carcinogens such as tobacco may induce hyperkeratinization with the potential to revert following cessation but at some stage mutation will lead to an unrestrained proliferation and cell division clinical features of the leukoplakia this is a white homogeneous patch present on the re, uh, buccal mucosa extending from the commissure area to the retromolar area this is homogeneous patch this is a reddish white patch this is a white patch with uh, red uh, with red patch inside the uh, white patch extending from the commissure area to the buccal mucosa this is speckled leukoplakia this is varicose leukoplakia cauliflower like shaped and this is red and white leukoplakia differential diagnosis leukoedema which can be distinguished from leukoplakia with the help of the, that distinguishing feature that it it disappears when mucosa is stretched lichen planus in lichen planus there is trea pattern is seen uh, chemical burn which it can be differentiated from leukoplakia with the help of taking comprehensive case history white sponge nevus white sponge nevus is generally congenital so it is present since birth but leukoplakia doesn't present since birth it is caused due to the um, due to to the intake of smokeless tobacco foam 
malignant potential uh, there is a risk of transformation of the leukoplakic cases into the malignancy which is 0.3 to 10 percent cases females are more prone to undergo malignancy and the lesion which is present since very long has the potential to convert into malignancy erosive lesions have, um, are more prone to convert into the malignant changes lesions situated at the base of the tongue and floor of the mouth because these are the high risk sites so they have the higher malignant potential to convert into malignancy next is management management is removal of the predisposing factors like the uh, smoking tobacco betel nut chewing and alcohol uh, and uh, removal of the chronic irritants like sharp edges of the teeth irregular denture surface or fillings with sharp margins maintain the dietary level of nutrients in, uh, and include vitamin a c and e in diet conservative treatment and next is surgical treatment in conservative treatment patient is asked to take carotenoids beta carotene uh, resolution of leukoplakia ranges from 4% to 54% with uh, do dosage regimens from 20 to 90 mg per day in times periods from 3 to 12 months lycopene a study evaluated lycopene in oral leukoplakia for 3 months period with dose uh, regimens from 4 mg per day and 8 mg per day clinical resolution uh, is seen 25 to 55% respectively Next, vitamin A. Vitamin A, also known as retinoids or retinol. Vitamin A plus E inhibit the metabolic degradation. Vitamin A is given is 1,50,000 international units for three months. Is uh, dosage is uh, given for the treatment of leukoplakia. 13 cis retinoic acid is also given at the dose of 1,50,000 international units for uh, one month. Antioxidant therapy includes beta carotene and vitamin B complexes can also be given. The statin therapy is given in candle leukoplakia. Uh, 50,000 international unit twice daily plus 20% borex, glycerol or 1% gentian violet or mouth rinse with chlorogen solution. Surgical treatment includes con uh, conventional surgical excision, electrocautery and electrosurgery, cryosurgery, laser surgery, excision or evaporation. Next is oral submucous fibrosis. Um, it is a chronic disease affecting the oral mucosa as well as pharynx and upper two-third part of the esophagus. This is a, a picture showing the oral, uh, oral submucous fibrosis. In this um, picture, the mucosa is whitish in appearance because there is increase in the collagen production and mucosa becomes uh, um, fragile and resilient. This is hockey stick uvula present in the OSMF patients. Etiology and pathogenesis behind the oral mucosa, oral submucous fibrosis is there is dose dependent, uh, dependence between areca quit chewing habit and development of this disorder. Areca nets contain alkaloids of which choline seems to be primary etiologic factors. Ericoline has the capacity to modulate matrix metalloproteinases, lysyl oxidases and collagenases all affecting the metabolism of collagen which leads to increased fibrosis. So in oral submucous fibrosis there is the increase uh, there is increase in the fibrosis fibrotic bands present on the buccal mucosa or the uh, site site which is affected by the disease differential diagnosis is amyloidosis generalized fibromatosis scleroderma or uh, oral lichen planus and anemia treatment plan includes preventive measures nutritional support physiotherapy medical management and stem cell therapy thank you